Now, we know the holidays are a time for family gatherings and, of course, lots of cooking. It's part of the Thanksgiving and Christmas Day traditions, but it's easy to forget there are people living right in our own neighborhoods, maybe right on your very block, that struggle to put food on the table. The numbers don't lie. One in six people struggle with hunger, and one in four children go to bed hungry. And that's why we need your help. By tomorrow afternoon, we are hoping this empty semi truck is filled to capacity with food. All will go to the Mid Ohio Food Bank. Joining me now is Marilyn Tomasi with Mid Ohio to share more on the need. Welcome, Marilyn. Thank you, Crystal. The numbers are really tough to hear, especially knowing so many kids are not getting the food. Why are the numbers still so high? You know, I think that people talk, we've come out of the recession, the Great Recession, and that all is well. But people are still struggling, you know. People are working two, three part-time jobs, not making a sustainable wage where they can really pay all the bills. They can pay for shelter, they can pay for food. The image we have, the, the picture in our mind of someone who's hungry, maybe we think of that someone on the street, it's not. I mean, we're talking about people that are in our own neighborhoods, they're working, but it's still not enough to get food on the table for their, all of their family members, right? The face of hunger has really changed. It's our coworkers, it's who our kids go to school with, it's who our, we see in our daily lives that hunger is impacting all of us. It's not them, it's us. Unfortunately, this time of year, what makes it so hard during the winter and the holiday months? You know, people are making tough choices right now. 69% of the people we serve are making choices between do I want to stay warm and pay my utilities or do I buy food? Wow, that's a tough decision to make. And medicine too. I mean, you know, when you're making a choice of am I well or am I nourished, those are the kinds of choices that children and families shouldn't have to make. It's enough to bring tears to your eyes when you really think about it. How many people are you helping each month through the Mid-Ohio Food Bank? Well, last year we served about 525,000 people. And again, wow. half the people we serve work. So these are folks who are trying to do the right thing. They're trying to take care of their families, but yet just can't make it work. Can you explain to us a little bit how the Mid-Ohio Food Bank works? Yes, for every dollar donated, we can get four meals or $10 in groceries. So basically we work with a network of 650 charities in 20 counties to try to connect good tasty, nutritious food to those who are don't know where their next meal will come from. You told me an amazing story of a 14 year old girl. It broke your heart and it, it broke my heart as well. Yes, it's, it's hard to talk about, but we did have a family in who, uh, seven people in the family, dad was working full-time job and a part-time job, and each of them uh, took a day that they did not eat so that they could stretch their family budget. It's really unreal. Now we mentioned the holidays. How are you working to put holiday meals on a folks' table? Well, one way we're working is with Force Army Drive. We are so incredibly grateful for the partnership and for the community who continuously steps up to help our struggling neighbors. So one way that we're helping is encouraging people to come and bring food, uh, go on their computer, make an online donation so that we can leverage that uh, to buy more food, to connect more food to people. And what kind of items are you guys looking for? You know, we're always looking, you know, it's the holiday season. We all want to sit down with our family and share a meal. So all the fixings for the holidays are always good. We look for protein, any kind of canned meat. You know, last year, Mid Ohio Food Bank uh, distributed about 24 million pounds of produce. So people can go to a pantry and or can come to the pantry at the food bank and get produce, but those other fix-ins are really important. And money donations are helpful as well, right? Again, we can get one, uh, four meals out of every dollar, so that's uh, a pretty good leverage. We want to encourage people to give in whatever way works for them. Even if they can give a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, 
you guys know how to make it help the most amount of people. That's right. I mean, we a little bit goes a long way. And so we are so incredibly grateful to this community and what they do. All right, let's folks know let let us let folks know one more time when and where this is all happening. The Fours Army Food Drive right here at NBC4 tomorrow all begins at 8 a.m. and runs through 1 p.m. Bring your food items or bring monetary donations. We're located at 3165 Olentangy River. River Road, just south of Riverside Hospital. And if you can't make it here, simply pick up the phone and dial our call for phone bank. Volunteers will be taking credit card donations. Marilyn, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. And for all the work you do.